We want to find VT, and we know that the voltage gains and drops around this series circuit will come to zero. Therefore, I can say uh, VT <laughs> minus 21 volts minus 12 volts minus 15 volts equals zero. And I do a very simple calculation, and I find that VT equals 48. 48 volts. We need to find IT, and this is quite easy. This is an example of Kirchhoff's current law. We know that uh, whatever is in each of those branches is what IT will equal. So we can uh, look at it, just add it up in our head. We don't need a calculator. 5 plus 3 plus 1, uh, that equals 9 amps. You can just do that by inspection. Well, this one looks a little complicated, but if we use our principles, it's pretty easy. We need to find V2. We look for V2 and see, oh, it is in a parallel segment of resistors. And these two resistors are in parallel, therefore they both have the same voltage. If V3 is 2 volts, V2 must be 2 volts. We don't have to calculate anything. We just look at it and know that resistors in parallel have the same voltage drop. Well, we found V2, and we know that was 2 volts. So now we need to find V4. And we see that V4 is down here. Now, we know that the voltage gains and drops around the circuit will be 0. So let's take a look here and see what we can find. I know that the drop across that parallel portion will be 2. So 14, that's through the battery, minus 7 volts through that resistor, minus 2 volts. A uh, charge can only go through one resistor. Either way, the drop will only be 2 volts across that. Minus V4, then, that last resistor, must equal 0. There's the voltage gains and drops. And a very simple calculation, and V4 is 5 volts. Well, we've found V2, V4, now let's look at I3. And we see that I3 is in that arm of this parallel section, okay? Now, if 5 amps comes in, and we look at this parallel section, and 3 amps goes through this arm, <laughs> obviously, 2 amps goes through that arm, because 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 comes in. 5 is now through those two arms. Now we need to find R4. Well, that's pretty easy, too, because the two arms will add up. 3 plus 2, oh, giving us a total of 5 amps leaving, therefore 5 amps through resistor 4. 5 amps. I4 is 5 amps.